Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome back to the to our OSBF lab. This video is part two. Part one, we went through the basic config of logical system and basic IP address assignment of our devices. So in this video, we will be going through OSPF configuration and verification. And I have lab tasks that I have created, which we are going to use as our mind map. So let me open it. And let me put it on the side here. So this is going to be our tasks. So we are going to configure OSPF version 2 on all the routers except R8, which as you can see, it's part of the uh, RIP domain which we will cover that later on in the in this video series so task number one it says assign the router ID of 10.1.1.1 on R1 so let's just begin our config right away uh, let's start off on router 1 I am going to jump into the logical system router one. So set CLI logical system router one. And here uh, just say show interfaces first. So I only have two three interface. Say edit I'll set protocols OSPF and I'll start off. Let's just say, uh, let's assign first the router ID of 10 to 1 to 1 to 1. So, say set routing options, router ID of 10 to 1 to 1 to 1. And let's do the OSPF. Set protocols OSPF area 0. Assign the interface. Of course, this is going to be a passive interface. And let's do uh, Gigi 119, which this one belongs to area 19. Okay. to commit and quit let's jump over to router 2 say edit so on r2 it is going to be first let me Minimize this. I'll come back to this later. <coughs> so on our tools, we we'll set equals OSPF area zero interface look like zero unit two. Unit 
36, which is part of 36. Commit and quit. Jumping back to our four. Zero unit four. Take pass event base. Four, which is part of area zero and one of four, which is part of area one of four. Jump to R5. It was always PF area zero. The first loop at zero. Passive. By the way, this is not area zero, it's part of area 25. So it's going to be KB005. Verify. Yeah, it's 25. So unit 58 it is part of read domain. So I'll just pass it for now. Let's do commit and quit. Let's jump to our six. What do we have here? is part of area 67. Commit and quit. Let's go over to R7. Uh, edit. Set protocols to RSPF. Area 67. Zero on 7. the link between R6 and 7. R8 is part of the domain, so I'm going to skip that for now. Let's jump to R9. And let's do set purpose voice we have area 19. Zero. Save. And kick zero zero nine. And the last logical system is R ten at the bottom. Just to add it. SPF area one four interface to part zero unit ten and here I assign the gig zero zero one four and quit. Now I have done the OSPF part, OSPF area. Let's jump back to logical system R1. Let's say show OSPF neighbors. You see, I have fully adjacent with router one, I mean router two, three, and four, and router nine. There you have it. Show route protocol 
SPF. So I pretty much have like all the routes, I believe, except the routes that are coming from area 67 because it is not attached to area 0 and we will set up a virtual link uh, later on. And this part right here from the read domain, that's the only routes that are missing, but the rest should all be here. So now let's go back to our mind map and accomplish the task that we've been given here. So before we continue, let's kind of go back to the, to the global system as a clear, uh, clear CLI logical system. And let's verify quickly show OSPF neighbor logical system or if we all the logical systems have their uh, respective uh, OSPF neighborship adjacent says. So if you look at logical system R2, it has uh, adjacent, it's adjacent with router 4, router 3, router 1, and router 5. R1 again has R9 and R4, 3, and 2. R3 has, is adjacent with R6 and R1 and R2 and R4. R5 at the moment has adjacent, is adjacent with R2. And R4 does have all these adjacent 1, 2, 3, and 10. And R10 is adjacent to R4, and R9 is adjacent to R1, R7 is adjacent to R6, and the global system, I mean R8 is not configured for OSPF, and R6 is adjacent to R7 and R3, and the global, the default, is not running OSPF. So, that's fine. Now, assign the router ID of 10.1.1 on R. I think we have done that before. Uh, so if I say show configuration routing options pipe display set on R1, you can see I did set up the router ID of 10.1.1.1 on logical system R1, that's done. And now the task number two says the link between router 1 and router 9. I mean inside area 19 should be a point-to-point -point link and on area 36 as well over here. These links are supposed to be point-to-point. Point. That means we don't need uh, type 2 LSAs to be formed on those. Actually, type 2 LSAs to be generated on those links. So, let's start off on R1. Say edit. And I will set for the first OSPF. Area 19 interface gigi 0019 I'm going to say interface type if you hit question mark you will see uh, there is none broadcast multi-access point to multi point and point to point so I'm going to do point to point commit and quit as soon as I do this if I say show SPF neighbor 
I believe the adjacent between R1 and R9 is going to be torn down because for OSPF to form an adjacent, one of the requirements is the link type should be identical on both ends. So to bring back the adjacent, I need to go back to R9 and set propose OSPF area 19 interface D0019 and say interface type is going to be point to point. Input. As soon as I do this, if I say show OSPF neighbor, the adjacent should come up. If I say show OSPF neighbor detail, there shouldn't be any DR or BDR on this link. Let's jump back to, to R1, show SPF neighbor detail. Okay, so on the shared segment we have DR and BDR information except on area 19. We don't have that because the link type there is point to point. That's done. Now, the link between, also the link between R3 and R6 should be point to point. Let's do that quickly. R3, edit, so protocols of SPF. Area 36 interface GE interface type point to point commit and quit area 6. Uh, let's search for the console speed of area 6. Interface type point to point, commit and quit. Now, special OSPF neighbor interface G006 06 detail. Again, here I don't have DR or BDR information. This link is a point-to-point -point link. Okay, done. The link between R4 and R10 should use a hello interval of 5 seconds and dead interval of 20 seconds. Now, the link between R4 and R10. This one should use a hello interval 4, uh, I mean hello interval 5 and dead interval of 20. Let's go into logical system 4. And set of course for SPF area 104. I believe the interface, the sub interface that I'm looking for is this one. And if I hit a question mark here, What I'm looking for is the hello interval and dead interval. Now, the hello interval is supposed to be 5, and dead interval is supposed to be 20. Let's commit and quit. And let's go to logical system 10. So set the same. Set for OSPF A104 interface G hello interval 5 and the interval of 20. SPF 
if enter sg zero zero you know, and one of four continue if I say this meaning if you look here you will see a hello interval five and a dead interval of twenty. So that's completed. Configure a plain text password authentication between R2 and R5. Password is has been highlighted so between R2 and R5. So let's jump over to router 2 set browser's voice pf area 25 interface if i hit a question mark here what i'm looking for is authentication so I'm going to say authentication, what type of authentication we are looking for, it's a simple password. And I need to provide a key, which is junior. Yeah. And quit. It's a show of SPF neighbor. Let's jump back to our five. So that's done. So here, if I say show configuration, I display it. You can see uh, the password. Now says configure the MD5 authentication between R6 and R7. So on area 67, right here, let's do that quickly. Uh, I'm gonna jump over to R6. Set as well as BF area. 67 interface say authentication md5 and the key id let's give the key id of one and let's give the key Just gonna copy and paste. Yeah, the neighborship only 
R3 is coming up and R7 is not because we have authentication mismatch. So let's jump over to R7. Interface and say authentication plain text it's MD5 the key ID MD5 key ID of one specify the key it's commit and quit neighbor there we go just as it just came up And the last thing is to verify the hotel table on all the devices. So on uh, the style, I'm gonna okay. say R1, show route, table, and that's zero. I should have all the routes except the routes that are coming from area 67 and rip domain because that one we haven't configured at least the virtual link and redistribution on R5. So I ping R5 from R1. Sure. Let's go back to R9. Let's go out. Let's do a trace back to 10555. It's cool. 10.6. I can reach there. Okay, so let's go back to CLI, logical system, show config, I display set. So this one over here is, if you could have done it in the, in the global system, this is how much could have done. So my authentication and I can say show what logical system all and it's gonna uh, hook all my routing tables every logical system here or you can just say show out logical system if you hit a question mark you can specify which uh, logical system you want to see the routing table. So that's it for now. Uh, I think in the next video we will take a look at the areas. We will do redistribution and the virtual link. And that's it for now. See you in the next one.